My name is Vanessa Torres and I have approximately 186,000 in student loan debt. I grew up in poverty, spending a lot of my childhood homeless with my mom and siblings. I knew that getting an education was the only way out of poverty for me. So I went to college and law school. My current total balance um, ends up at 186,000. I first heard of Vanessa's story at an Our Revolution Town Hall on student debt cancellation. It's a painful story to hear, but she's not alone. She's one of 45 million Americans who have student loan debt. No other country in the world makes people go into this kind of debt simply to get an education. Hi, Vanessa. How have you been? I know it's been uh, a couple months since we chatted. Yeah, since um, the town hall, our student debt payments have restarted and just the overall cost of living has increased significantly. Uh, I know how hard it can be. I mean, I had over $100,000 of student loans and there were times where I was unable to pay them in my 20s. You know, I was very fortunate in life, so I've been able to pay them off, but uh, that's not the case for many of the people I know who had those loans. I don't believe that we should be punished for going to college. I don't I'd be able to afford a home. I'd like to save more for retirement, but you know, $330 a, a month is already a lot of money. Your story highlights this myth that somehow we're bailing out wealthy kids or wealthy families, and that's just not true. There are lower middle class backgrounds. People who are rich don't have to take out student loans. We're going to continue to fight, and I appreciate you sharing your story. Any relief would be appreciated, I'm sure. The president should cancel up to $50,000 of student loan debt. He can do this by invoking the Higher Education Act, and he needs to stop the repayment of student loans. There is no excuse for Democrats to just stand by. The American people are watching.